Uh, so I'm working on these uh, plating for the frame here and I would like the plate to come past this cross member here. And the issue I have is it's this pipe and then this is raised. It's like dimple dyed, if you know what dimple dyed is. Why is it raised like that? But anyway, so that means my plate hole has to be bigger than this. This is about three inch. So the bigger I get, the closer I get to the edges of my plate, and it's cutting into my plate there. So now I'm gonna, yeah, I've gotta do something here to reinforce that. I'm gonna run the plate all the way to here. I'd like to run it even farther back, but then the bed mount right here is in the way. I'd have to cut this, grind it flush, cut this one, grind it flush, then get try to get in there with a the welder. It's, that's that's gonna take taking the whole bed off the truck. But uh, yeah, so here's my jig, right? This is my jig. So it fits on the steel like that. So okay, got that down. And I run the uh, I run my plasma cutter in here. Zip, 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 zip. Same right here. I just need to cut this corner here. Round that off and then square it up. But uh, so here's a cut piece, All right? Took the grinder to it already, drilled my holes. But as you can see, this hole here, this is the issue. What good is this piece here? Yeah, what good is this piece right here? If this is so thin. So I gotta beef that up. Well, to beef that up, I think, yeah, here we go. Cut some pipe. Put that on there like that. So this will tie two pieces together. I want to. I want to make it. I want to get it down. So like two steps, right? Step one, probably cut the hole. No, step two. Yeah. Step one, cut my piece, my blank, like that. Step two, cut the hole, but it has to be this size so we cut this cut the hole put it back together by putting this on yeah. fit my two cut pieces back together around the, the piece of pipe there and weld it up so it's one piece and then go on back and make sure it fits right I figure, I figure the first one would take a while to do. Once I get everything down, you know, get everything dialed in, I can start making some. But first, I think I ought to make one pair and try them on my truck first to see if it's even going to do anything. So now I need a guide or something to make a 3 and 5 eighths hole. That I'm going to try to do with the plasma cutter, but I need it like a circle maker, right? So this is something else to figure out here. That's why it's taking so long. And uh, this is for cutting my circular, see my circular down here? Should fit in there like that. I'm going to tack well the little piece I put on there, that ring, and then uh, I'll go check the fit, see if my marks are going to line up with the frame. Hey. Yes, sir? Hey. Now what? Hey. You're going to step on something. Let's step on something. You're going to step on something. We're gonna step on something. All right, so uh, yeah, 
it's a little cooler than it was at four o'clock. Is it four o'clock? The sun is shining through this easy up, you know, like this. In the morning it's shining from the other way, so. I got this just tacked up. Oh, it's still hot, but yeah. So, you know, this is trial and error. Trial and error, I need to move my ring over a quarter inch to the left, and, um, cause this has to fit over that bump stop pad. And then I think I need to go with a, a thicker ring there. All right, well, that's it for today. You know, it's back to the drawing board. I would have liked to start punching this stuff out, but got my circle, got my jig. I'm cutting a little better now. I turned the plasma cutter up to 45 amps. I guess I could take it up to 50 and see if it blows a circuit breaker, right? It's not gonna hurt nothing. I just gotta go buy a circuit breaker. I'm gonna have to buy some more pipe. I'm gonna see what the pipe is at, um, at Patton Steel. Cause I think there they'll cut it to me, cut it in length for me. I can't carry nothing over 10 foot on my truck. Yeah, and I'm going to need some more st plate. This is my last piece. This is all... I guess I can use this for something. This is all experimental. The, the, the creative process, right? Costs money. So if you want to contribute to this channel and uh, help me out here, if you got pipe laying around, let me know. I need some three inch. I could use a bench grinder to clean the stuff up when I'm done cutting with the plasma cutter. I'm, I'm trying to get this down so I can cut, weld my ring on, Cut everything and ready to go, right? Finished product. It's a learning curve here. It is uh, Tuesday. Oh, here's something I started. A jig to make cuts with the plasma cutter. Started off good, but it ended in disasters. Took a couple days and on to another one. Well, this is, I think, this is gonna work here. Okay. So I think I got that part down. Here's one of them, but the issue I'm having is with this circle right here. I need to make a circle, so I had to make a jig for that. It's basically this it's a pipe nipple with a quarter inch bolt. So you need a quarter inch hole and then you can go around with the torch. The torch goes in there. But this has to spin nice and free. You can't get hung up on anything because that'll mess you up. Okay, so I got that out of the way, but this hole isn't going to work. It's See, there's no material here left, <laughs> so I'm going to reinforce it with a pipe nipple. Just a sleeve on there. This is going to go there. And that'll reinforce that point right there on that cross member. This is a cross member that goes here. So, like I said, this is a learn as you go. It's a slow process because uh, I may come up with something, but the next day I think, oh well, you know, let's do it this way instead. So like I, yesterday, this is all I did. I figured, okay, let's try the circle. And you gotta piece it back together. And then you gotta see if, if my dimensions are correct for this to fit on the truck. It has to fit over the cross member. Um, I mean, the uh, there's a bump stop pad right there on the frame. So this has to fit on there. This has to fit right on that cross member. And with this one, I was a quarter inch off. So I gotta move this out. Uh, 
hopefully I get a cleaner cut and I'm gonna use a bigger bigger sleeve on there yeah so I'm gonna use this bigger sleeve one inch instead of half inch yeah so I'm getting close I'm getting close to something I can actually finish and put on the truck that's that's gonna be the second phase of this is it looks like I'm ready to do some cutting so look at it, I only got enough material to make maybe one more. That's nice, right? So I burned up material just prototyping this stuff. So. Like I said, that three inch nipple was $50. Three by 12 inch, schedule 40 black steel. I have to go to patent steel when I go, once I finally get one, finished at least one right before I spend any more money on materials it seems like every day I'm just handing money out okay guys I'm it's uh I started this project what the beginning of just September so like two weeks ago through the heat wave and all that and the drama going on here at the house but uh so i i finally come down to uh this design right here okay although i'm still thinking of making some changes to it okay this is just my my first one everything seemed to work out pretty good but i'm thinking of eliminating this piece and just welding that to the frame i'm not too sure about that yet at this point but yeah that would why this you know i want to just eliminate that and weld it to the frame there and then along the top and the bottom right and then i'm also doing like a plug welds on here spaced out the idea my idea instead of welding all the way across top and bottom is just to weld here in betweens couple inches there, a couple inches there, a couple, and then plug weld them. It's the idea anyway. So, so much for that, right? So that's what I'm doing. That's what this video was about. I started this project because I saw, hey, the frames are bending at a certain spot here. Let's see if I can make reinforcement plates and hopefully make something worthwhile here so I can make some money because I'm running out of money. I'm running out of that IRA account I had. It's uh, $40,000 doesn't go very far. I'm down to my last $1,500. I just, just might as well cash the whole thing in now. I'm in deep. So uh, I'm trying to stay afloat here, so, and get something rolling. Uh, so if you want to contribute, I'd appreciate it to this channel. <laughs> uh, I've got a, a Go Get Funding account, and uh, I've had several of you guys contribute. I appreciate that. Doesn't got to be a lot. It's not something you sign up to like uh, Patreon where they want you to pay monthly. It's nothing like that. And I'll try to send you something in appreciation. I've had sent some guys uh, some hats this year and stickers or whatever. You know, I'd like to see you get something back for contributing. And, you know, you don't have to go to uh, go get, it's called gogetfunding.com. I'll put a link to that, but yeah. yeah. I got a PayPal account. All you got to do is use my email address at PayPal and, you know, whatever you want there. And then, like I said, I'll try to send you something. I still got stickers. I've got shirts at teespring.com. I don't think I've sold shirt on there in months. And I had some Mojave Road shirts. I'm about out of those. I don't want to throw down another, any more money into shirts there. That takes capital investment. I need gas money which is another question I had from a another fellow youtuber or a couple of you guys but I don't know when I'm gonna go up on another trail run well I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do any more trail runs till I start getting some money rolling in here cuz that's it we're tapped out here so uh, uh, I got the truck up in the air right now cuz I got a primer and paint everything so that's 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 what's going on here. I'm also going to pull the uh, struts off the front because the bushings are going bad on the bottom. And I contacted uh, Coney, Coney, 
Coney headquarters all the way to in uh, the Netherlands, right? Holland, the Dutch, right? I sent a letter in the mail telling them, this is what I got. I got some imported conies. I need bushings for these. Did I get any bushings? No. I got a, a email back from Coney North America, uh, like a whole paragraph. And it comes down to, yeah, the bushings aren't available here in North America. They've got to be ordered from the Netherlands. I go, well, what's this? What? I feel like I'm getting, uh, you know, jerked around here. <laughs> Just send me two bushings. They're about this big, right? Put them in a box. Send your apology letters later. Jeez, I don't understand these big companies. Maybe they're too big, you know? Two bushings, what's so hard about two bushings in a box? Send them to me. And if you want to keep the customer happy, you know, send them a couple stickers or something, a hat maybe, a shirt. No, no, no. I haven't got nothing. So I haven't heard nothing back from them in like two weeks because I told them, you know, your customer service stinks. I'll never buy your products again. Jeez Louise, what's so hard about two bushings, guys? So I'm gonna have to DIY, 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 do it myself. That's another video. Once I get the 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 struts off, I'm gonna do my own bushing kit there too. So we'll see how that works out. Stay tuned. I, I didn't want to make this video this long because I got work to do and it's hot. It's still hot. It's kind of smoky. It's hazy now. It's not as bad as it was, but. This is what's going on today. I think it's Wednesday. I want to finish this video. I'm tired of sitting in the room staring at the computer.